Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Eng 202 Unit 11 Writing Skills. By the end of the lesson, you will have learned strategies and useful expressions for delivering a presentation. Second, extracted specific information from a reading text. And finally, written a formal report. Delivering a presentation. All of you, I guess, need to know the right tips that can help you to deliver a good presentation. Today, we will learn that. Here are nine tips that can help you to learn how to deliver a good presentation. So number one, start by introducing yourself and why you are here today. So how do we introduce ourselves? For example, you say, hi everyone, my name is Sarah and today I'll be talking about, and you mention your topic. Number two, start strongly with a quote, a joke, or an interesting story. So why do we choose a quote or an interesting story? We will we'll be trying to capture the attention of our audience. Number three, show your passion about the topic and connect with your audience. Show that you are interested in what you are talking about. Show that you like your topic in order to convey this interest to your audience. Number four, focus on your audience's needs why they are listening to you today. So think about what your audience is waiting from you, what, uh, what they are waiting to learn from you. And five, keep it simple, concentrate on your core message and don't take too long time. For example, don't add a lot of information, just keep your presentation simple that everyone can learn it. Six, smile and make eye contact with your audience. Show that you are confident through smiling and making eye contact. Seven, make your slideshow clear, short, with direct point. And eight, share personal experiences and relate to the audience's lives. If you share your own personal experiences, your audience will be able to relate to these experiences. And finally, use your voice effectively with useful intonation. Don't speak just with one ramp. Uh, try, for example, uh, make your voice with vari variations. Okay? Now I will read this short presentation for you. Hello everyone. My name is Muhammad and today I'm going to tell you about two endangered animals. The great Mahatma Gandhi once said, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. First, there are lots of cats that are astray in the streets. Those cats get hit by cars and die every day. As I'm sure many of you here have seen this awful scene while driving, it is horrifying. My second point for today is about the Bahraini bulbul bird. As you all know, it is now considered endangered. If you could pay attention to the slide, you will find the numbers of those beautiful birds among the years, which is decreasing rapidly. Today, we are starting a charity fund to build those birds and cats new heaven. I'm confident that your generosity and kind heart will be of great help for those innocent animals. Thank you for listening. So this is the presentation that I have just read for you. We'll try now to find the major elements of this presentation. Now, let us read the sentences. Let us read the sentences from the presentation and match them with the elements in the other box. Okay, let us read the first box from A to H. Introducing yourself and why you are here today. 
be a strong, a strong start to get attention. C, starting the talk. D, introducing a new point. E, relate to audiences' lives. F, clear and to the point slideshow. G, show enthusiasm. H, ending the talk. These are the sentences from the presentation. Now think and try to match the tips with the right sentence. I will give you some time to think about it. Now let us check your answers. Very good. The first box is what? It is a strong start to get attention. And how did we know that? Because we mentioned a quote by Mahatma Gandhi, who is a well-known historical figure. The next box, thank you for listening. And it is what? It is an ending, very good. It is an ending because at the end of the talk or the presentation or speech, we say thank you for listening. The third box, hello everyone, my name is Muhammad. It is an introduction because we mentioned our name. And why we are here? We are here because I'm going to tell you about two endangered animals. We mentioned here the reason for our speech. The third box, the fourth box, I'm confident that your generosity and kind heart will be of great help for those innocent animals. This is the uh, this is showing enthusiasm because we showed that we are enthusiastic about uh, this topic. And the fifth one, my second point for today is about the Bahraini Bilbul bird. How did we know that it is, a, it is introducing a new point? Because we said my second point. So it is what? Introducing a new point. The next box, if you could pay attention to the slide, you will find the numbers of those beautiful birds among the years, which is decreasing rapidly. This is a clear to the point of the slideshow. And the next one, I'm sure many of you here has seen this awful scene while driving. And what is this? We said E. What is E? Relate to audiences' lives. Here we relate to the audiences' lives. And finally, first, there are lots of cats that are astray in the street, starting the talk. And how did we know starting the talk? We see here the word first. So it reflects that we are starting our talk. Okay? In order to deliver a good presentation, you should know the good and bad traits of a presentation. Now we will find out. In this box, you will see both good and bad points of the presentation, we'll read it together and then classify them. The first one, eye contact with the audience, is it good or bad? Confused thoughts and unorganized ideas, looking at the ceiling or the slides most of the time, 
showing interest in this topic and enthusiasm, bored and agitated during the presentation, speaks clearly to the point. Now I'll give you some time to, cl to classify the, uh, the points from good and bad. Okay, very good. So the eye contact with the audience is good. Presentation, show interest in the topic and enthusiasm, good. Speaks clearly to the point, also good. How about the bad presentation? Confused thoughts and or unorganized ideas. So if, you are, if your thoughts uh, are confused and you're unorganized, of course your presentation will be bad. Looking at the ceiling or the slide most of the time, without eye contact is also considered bad presentation. Bored and agitated during the presentation, of course, if you are bored, you will never present a good speech or talk. Now, let us learn how to write a report. When writing a report, we follow these steps. First, identify your topic. So what is the major idea of your report. Number two, specify the key points that you need to focus on your report. So what are the major ideas that you will include in your report? Three, arrange these points in a logical order. After writing your points, try to arrange them in a logical order. Four, identify sub points that, uh, that provide supporting details. After writing your major points, try to support them with more details. And finally, of course, you should review your report and make needed changes. Now, let us read this example of a report and match it with the major elements from the introduction, audience activities, recommendation, and finally, conclusion. Let us read, then match the elements with the reports. I'll give you some time to read and think about the answers. Now let us check your answers together. Very good. So the first box is what activities. And how did we know activities? because we mentioned here some of the activities, like plays and games for kids, wonderful concerts, all of them are activities. Two is what? Audience, and how did we know audience? Because we see here, the we mentioned here families, people from all ages, and children. The third box is introduction. Why it is an introduction? Because we give the general idea and the major points that's, that, are, that will be introduced later. The next one, 
conclusion. Why conclusion? Because we have the word overall. Overall, we usually write it at the end. And the final box is recommendation. And how did we know recommendation? We see the word here, most of them recommended. That's why we chose recommendation. Okay? Now, choose a topic and practice writing a short report. This is an example of a short report. This is uh, the report after arranging it together. Okay? Thank you for your attention and see you again.